type color on first Now I'm going to use a, um, this is a BH Cosmetics blending brush. And now I'm going to use the Rimble, Rimble Scandalize um, Coal in Black. This pencil is uh, very soft, but it's also very, very black. Um, I don't even think this is actually black as black. I think this is just their regular plain black, but um, we need to blend this out, and so the pencil needs to be kind of soft. I warmed it up on the back of my hand first, and now I am going to take a tapered brush and take it all along my crease. This is much easier to do if the pencil is soft. And also I'm going to flick it upwards. Next I am going to take a um, this crease brush is from MUA and it is very small and I'm going to take Urban Decay's Zero No that is not the black that I used today I actually used um, the there are a couple of blacks in BH Cosmetics second edition of the 120 palette I am using the bottom one on the tray that has kind of the neon colors. I'm going to pick it up for you. A couple of mine are broken, so you got to be really careful. I'm using this darkest one here. to set it. Now I'm going to take um, another blending brush. This is the third blending brush that I've used today. Yeah, the third blending brush that I used today. This one is sort of tapered. This is from um, e.l.f. And I'm going to use that to blend the color in and flick it upwards again. And now I am going to take a 
dense crease brush from uh, ELF and I am going in with a lighter uh, this is also a warm brown but it's lighter than the one that I used originally and fluffy blending brush from BH Cosmetics blend it out I'm going to take um, NYX eyeshadow base and skin tone and I'm going to clean up this so that it's a very sharp line underneath um, my crease So I'm going to take a synthetic brush and I'm going to very carefully run it along the bottom of our um, cut crease so that the, the line is very, very sharp. Okay. Now... <laughs> So that was, we did that to make sure that the line is very, very sharp, our cut crease. So now we're going to take our um, painted purple from Maybelline. And that's because what I am doing is a purple cut crease. And um, I've had this color tattoo for like three or four weeks and I haven't used it yet. So I decided that I want to use it today. All right. Now I'm going to take Urban Decay's um, Ransom color that I really, really like. And I'm going to put that on top of the color tattoo very carefully again. And this is in a padding motion. Okay, and now I'm going to go back with um, the small crease brush, and this time I definitely am using Urban Decay Zero, and right in my crease to redefine that line and make sure that it is very dark. point of a cut crease is drama and so we want to make sure that that line is very defined and very dark and now I am going to take that tapered blending brush from ELF. I love this blending brush because it gets right in the crease. Okay, and so to highlight my um, arch and my inner tear duct, I am going to be using a color from my Lorac uh, the Royal Pro Collection and the color is Ivory and I'm going to be using a flat brush and I'm going right in my arch That's just how I personally like my arch to be. And now I'm going to blend this eye out one more time, making sure that um, I pay special attention to the light color that I have in my arch and making sure that it blends seamlessly into the rest of the color. Okay, so for eyeliner, I'm going to be using the rock the Rock Physician Formula Ooh La La Sexy Eyes Trio in black for my um, waterline upper and lower. 
Okay, now I'm going to take a white eyeliner and run it underneath my lower lash line. I need it for the purple that I'm going to put under there to make sure that that purple is really vibrant. I'm going to take a angled brush and take the color tattoo and paint it purple and put it on top of the white. The same brush, Urban Decay and Ransom. right on top of the painted purple. Need to blend this out. Oh, this is another um, liner from the Ooh La La Sexy Trio from Physicians Formula. This is the pencil eyeliner and I'm going to do my upper lash line starting off thin in the inside corner and getting thicker as you move towards the outside corner. I'm going to run a light coating of Better Than Sex Mascara from Too Faced on my upper lashes to prepare for my falsies. And starting out with a light layer of mascara helps your lashes hold the curl when you curl them. one of my lashes is not facing up. It's a little cock eye. Okay, and now the lashes that I'm going to be using are Ritzy by Kiss. I just used these for the first time in yesterday's video and I really, really like these lashes. I am using my favorite lash glue which is Lash Grip Lash Adhesive. I had to open up a new tube today. So a little bit on the back of my hand and a brush to apply it with. Okay so this should be about set now. Okay, while that glue dries, I am going to put NYC Sky Rise Lengthening Mascara on my lower lashes. I'm going to take a Q-tip and clean up underneath the lashes but I forgot to set my um, the black shadow that's on my inner waterline. 
I'm going to set that in with Urban Decay Zero. I'm getting all kind of powder on my contact lenses. All kind of powder. Okay, and the glue should be about uh, dry now, so I'm going to use a liquid liner on my upper lash line to disguise the lash band. Okay, and so I am going to put on the rest of my face and then I'll be back. Since I am wearing a dramatic cut crease, it was only natural that I go in for a dramatic lip as well. So this is the completed face and I hope you like it. And if you do, tell others and if not, tell me. And as always, you know the drill. Love, peace, and hair grease. Ciao. I'm walking alone, the streets are empty The only thing I can see is my own silhouette I'm getting stronger, step by step The clock is ticking, but there's no time for me I've been flying from town to town From London to Taiwan I've been all around the globe Trying to protect your soul Now